Other interesting political news, you have the FDA banning brominated vegetable oil in drinks following many other countries. Now, this is brought to us thanks to Reginald Wiggle. It says, quote, why your soda may taste different following the FDA's ban on a controversial additive. Hold down to the actual, do they have any pictures of it? There we go. They say, quote, the FDA says banning the use of brominated vegetable oil in food items effective August 2nd. BVA, vegetable food oil modified with bromine, has been in food ingredients since the 1920s. It's typically used as a stabilizer in fruit-flavored beverages to prevent the citrus flavor from floating to the top. Mayo Clinic Katherine Zersky, who is a registered dietitian, says, quote, Health concerns about BVO stem from one of the ingredients, bromine. Bromine can irritate the skin, nose, mouth, and stomach. It's also been linked to neurologic symptoms in people who drink large quantities of citrus soda, more than two liters a day, unquote, she added. Which, granted, is quite depressing. The United States is the most obese, healthy country on the planet, which, again, is a culture issue as well as a health issue. But, yeah, two liters a day? I mean, this is the... You have many problems in your life if you're drinking two liters a day. Jeez Louise. Now, she says, bromine also leaves remnants of bromine, bromine triglycerides in the liver, heart, brain, and body fat. An accumulation of bromine can cause bromine toxicity, which can damage the central nervous system. Now, in terms of the history, it says in the 1970s, the FDA removed uh, BVO from generally registered safe list and restricted its use to products containing fruit flavorings. Per the Center for Science and Public Interest, BVO was banned in the UK in the 1970, followed by India in 1990, the EU in 2008, and Japan in 2020. Governor Gavin uh, Newsom, I mean Newsom, signed a bill last year prohibiting the sale of food containing BVO Red 3, Ripperbarin, and Potassium Bromate. Starting in 2027, which is why they said they're trying to ban Skittles in California, because Skittles has many of these ingredients. Now, they also say the FDA ban comes in the wake of research linking oral exposure to BVO and thyroid damage, thyroid gland and thyroid hormones regulate metabolism and brain development. Many food companies have already voluntarily removed their products to uh, re remove it from their products. Beverage Titans, uh, PepsiCo, and Coca Cola removed BVO from Gatorade and Fanta products, which Let's see here. Sundrop, made by Dr. Pepper, still has it. They're probably going to remove it soon. And yet, one of the reasons why you have copious amounts of legal resources that many of these manufacturers is you got to stand abreast of all these developments. And yeah, good, it'll be interesting to see what the scientists do in terms of research development to try to find a substitute for this in these drinks. Now, yeah, it is pretty fascinating. It took, there's a 30 year gap between the two different countries, or all these different countries who are. Know, during the different bands but yet yeah, again that's also drinking two liters but again i know it can add up in the aggregate and this eh, seems like the research isn't that great so eh, if you have any of that old stuff lying around the fridge or maybe the old garage probably eh, probably a prudent idea to perhaps not drink it and i mean i doubt we're going to see much of a pushback in terms of manufacturers trying to lobby i don't think they're going to die in this hill so to say in terms of trying to you know push against the FDA and keep this agreed in, especially with all the global precedent of other entities and other countries banning it already. If anything, depending on the cost of materials and cost of goods sold, it might make more business sense, again, just to standardize your product around the whole globe. Because then, again, then you're buying with ingredients in bulk, so that might be a benefit in and of itself, but as I always say, time shall tell. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.